today I want to show you what I can do with the squash that I've been growing. This is a uh, yellow crookneck squash and I'm going to pick some today um, so that I can make some cheesy squash casserole. And the neat about, the younger the squash the better. So this is kind of a medium size uh, squash but I'm going to pick a few that I can cook up, slice up and cook up. These were some of the smaller squash that I had picked earlier. I'm just gonna add this one I picked today to the pile. That should be plenty to chop up and then add to uh, the squash casserole, the cheesy squash casserole. Even though I don't use herbicides, pesticides on my, my in my garden, I do wanna wash everything off just because it gets some dirt. There may be bugs on it. So I wanna make sure that I wipe it off off before I slice it and cook it. The first thing I do is I'm going to top off the tops and the bottoms of all of the squash. It's hard to do with one hand, but I'm going to do it. And then you can see my compost here that I'm going to add to it. This is what I dump into my garden, uh, my compost um, in to use to create my next um, year's garden. So I'm just going to chop the ends off of these and then put them in the uh, mandolin to go ahead and slice up for my casserole. Okay, so this is my mandolin and I am going to try to do this with one hand, which is very dangerous, but at least to give you an idea. So you just put the squash on it. There we go. And it makes some nice slices like so at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of these and then uh, place them in the pan. Okay, the other thing I need to do is chop up a whole onion. I ended up having four cups of, of sliced squash. Next, I put the squash in a skillet and I am adding the chopped onion to it and I will add a little water to steam it uh, for five minutes just to kind of make the uh, squash and the the onions cook just a little bit. And this is over medium heat and here I am just adding the water to the skillet. I'm going to cover it and let it uh, steam for about five minutes. Okay I'm also adding a little salt and a little pepper while this is steaming. Pepper. Okay Next thing I'm going to do is get some breadcrumbs and see that just take some <laughs> some crackers, a sleeve of crackers, and I'm going to beat them with the rolling pin just to make it crumbly. I'm going to add the cheese to it after it gets all crumbled up and it'll be ready to go. So to the, the saltine uh, crumbs, Crumbs. I'm adding a package of eight ounce shredded cheese, sharp cheddar. You can add regular char cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you like to make these cheesy, uh, cheesy white squash, yellow squash. Okay, so I've combined the cheese and the breadcrumbs, and this is what it looks like in the bowl. I'm going to next take three eggs, scramble them, and add a add a cup of milk to it, and then add that to the mixture. Here's the mixture after I've scrambled the eggs and added the milk. Okay, my uh, steamed onions and uh, uh, yellow squash are ready, and I need to drain it. It's got that water I put into it, so I have to drain it well. Here we go. Okay, this is the drained squash and onion mixture. I'm putting half of it in this bowl where I'm going to add the cheese and breadcrumbs to be soaked into the squash. So when it's about half left, I will add my breadcrumbs and cheese. Okay, I added the breadcrumbs and the cheese to the squash mixture and you can see that there's a lot of cheese and a lot of breadcrumbs that this squash is going to soak up 
And then I'm going to add my eggs and milk mixture to that. And give it a good stir where everything gets absorbed. I just added the last of the squash and the last of the onions mixture to my cheese and cracker mixture and as well as the egg and milk and now I'm going to add some butter I, I'm taking a stick of butter and I'm going to microwave it to melt it and put it in there uh, on the end okay I've melted my butter and now I'm just going to pour it all into this mixture and mix it up and then I'm going to add it to a, a baking dish 9 by 13 baking dish Okay, here's my Pyrex cooking baking dish, and I'm adding my mixture to it. And before I put it in the oven, which has been preheating at 400 degrees, I'm going to add some more topping. I'm gonna to add some more cheese, and I'm gonna add some more um, crushed, crushed saltine crackers. So now I'm adding the topping, which is the some more sharp cheddar cheese, and some more crushed saltine crackers. Well, I like a lot of cheese and it makes it taste really yummy. Kind of spread it around and there we have it. I'm gonna dab it with some butter and then it'll be ready to go in the oven. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a few more pads of butter here and there and we'll be ready to put it in the oven. Okay, it's ready for the oven now. Okay, it goes in for 25 minutes at 400 degrees. And here is the cheesy squash casserole after 25 minutes at a 400 degree oven ready to eat.